एवरीवन देयर इज अ कल्पना हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द गिवन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन फ्रॉम हायर ऑर्डर लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो लेट्स गेट गोइंग प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व d2 d 1 होल स्क्वायर इनटू y 0 सॉल्यूशन गिवन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन d square plus d plus one whole square into y equals to zero, which is an operator form. f of d into y equals to zero, where f of d equals to by comparing these two, we'll get f of d equals to d square plus d plus one whole square. Now we'll find the general solution to the given equation using the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to zero is f of m equals to zero, where f of m equals to just replace d. Differential operator by m, then you'll get m square f of m equals to m square plus m plus one whole square. Then our auxiliary equation will be m square plus m plus one whole square equals to zero. You can write this as m square plus m plus one into m square plus m plus one equals to zero. So we need to find roots, right? Just equate. Each quadratic expression to zero, then you'll get m square plus m plus one equals to zero, and m square plus m plus one equals to zero, right? Now consider one quadratic equation. If a m square plus b m sorry b m plus c equals to zero is a quadratic equation, then we'll find roots using Quadratic formula m equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a, right? See here we cannot find factors of this polynomial using factorization method, so we'll go for this method. Okay. Then, by comparing these two, we'll get a equals to quotient of m square one, quotient of m one, which is equals to b, and c equals to one. From this, we'll get m equals to minus b plus or minus b square minus four a c by two a, which is equals to minus one plus or minus square root of one square is one minus four into one into one is four. By two into one is two, which is equals to minus one plus or minus square root of one minus four is minus three by two. You are having square root of minus three, right? You can just write this as minus one into three, and you can split this as square root of minus one into square root of three. We know that square root of minus one is i, then you'll get i root three, right? Then this equals to minus one plus or minus i into Square root of three by two. So now we got m equals to minus one plus or minus i root three by two, and for this also m equals to minus one plus or minus i into square root three by two. Which are repeating 
twice right and also you can write this as m equals to minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2 and then for minus minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2 and here you'll get minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2 and for minus minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2 see this term is repeating twice and this term also repeating twice that is m equals to minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2 minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2 minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2 minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2 so here we have two complex conjugate roots which are repeated twice right if alpha plus or minus i beta is repeated twice then the solution will be given by y equals to e power alpha x into since it is repeated twice so we get c1 plus c2x into cos beta x plus c3 plus c4x into sin beta x. Right. So, here minus 1 plus or minus i root 3 by 2 are two complex conjugate roots two equal okay that is repeated twice So our general solution will be y equals to e power. We can just split this as minus 1 by 2 plus or minus i into root 3 by 2 for our convenience. e power minus 1 by 2 into x into c1 plus c2x cos beta square root of 3 by 2 into x plus c3 plus c4x into sine beta x square root of 3 by 2 into x that is y equals to e power minus 1 by 2 into x is minus x by 2 into c1 plus c2x into cos x square root of 3 by 2 plus c3 plus c4x into sine root 3 by 2 into x, x root 3 by 2 is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.